from the home of the Spirit Quartz, Bukna took South Africa exquisite formation. Now, it would lie flat like this, and I wouldn't, I actually wouldn't put this guy to waste having lying, lying it flat. I, I quite enjoy this particular angle where you have the main crystal jutting out like this. Now, typical to this deposit, we have a central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones, as you see here. And then color concentration would be around the inside edges. In this case, the color is almost a yellowish to a brownish, which would be reminiscent of inclusions of uh, hematite in stages of oxidation going into girthite. Maybe a little bit of, the, of that on the outside too. From a display point of view, this is quite, quite lovely. Have it at this angle. Very, very bright, lustrous piece. Very Lots of bling bling. I don't see any contact on the upper face of this guy. Let's have a look. I think there may be a little bit of a nick over there, but I, I actually only noticed it now that I'm looking for it. Um, I, I saw a collection not so long ago, and and I was quite shocked at myself when I thought about it afterwards. But it was a Tsumep collection, quite a quite a substantial collection by one of our local collectors, and and I was actually looking for contact rather than appreciating the actual specimen, because I thought, now what does quality actually look like? And uh, in this case, for instance, the form is so exquisite. If you'd focus on that, you wouldn't notice that little, uh, well, hardly. There we go. There you have it. I'll give you a reflection on that. All the way from the home of the spirit courts, Bukhanat took South Africa.